What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix Windows 10 file and printer sharing with one click. Now the other day I made a video called cannot see other computers on the local network fix and this was a step by step guide on how to fix uh, the file and printer sharing and also make them discoverable on the network uh, and you'd have to do this on every single uh, computer. Now there was a couple of comments in there asking is this possible to automate and make it uh, with a script or something like that and the answer to that is yes you would have to add in whatever you want to your script and of course then run it. Let me just show you what this script's going to do what I've got here. So we're going to go to the network and internet and inside here we're going to go to ethernet then network and you can see the network profile is set to public this would have to be set to private and of course that would be for private um, printer and uh, that would be for printer and file sharing so the script will enable that and of course what we need to do then is network and internet it would need to make sharing option changes it would need to change these sharing options here so as you can see the sharing options are what we need to change and uh, that's what we're going to do here so it'll change all of these okay to turn on network discovery and turn on file and printer sharing next up is going to do the uh, services area it will check all of the network discovery services that need to be running to make sure that you'll be able to share files and also uh, printers and stuff like that so function discovery provider and the function discovery resource publication and you've got a bunch of other stuff inside here that needs to be running like print spooler again these are services are not running but it will make sure that they are set to the right type and also start them up in the process also you've got other areas which is like ssdp discovery this is for your uh, network devices and stuff like that that needs to be running and it's turned off so it will check those and make sure they are running next up we've got another area which the script will check and also make sure this is running and we're going to go and show you that right now so let's go to programs and features and turn windows features on or off inside here we're going to enable the sn uh, B, which is the 1.0 file sharing support and of course inside here we're going to be doing the client bit here and that will enable that feature as well so let's go ahead and take a look here you've got your powershell script here this will be able to uh, do all these things via powershell you can either run this via a bat file to uh, find this file and then run it you can also do it in the actual box itself you can do it via batch file if you want to we can right click and go to Windows uh, PowerShell and open up the uh, PowerShell box here and then you would post in your command if you wanted to there's a bunch of them and you can do the whole lot in one foul swoop because it, it just basically uh, stacks them and it will then obviously uh, do the whole script so basically you can do it this way whatever way you want to activate it you can do now this is great for IT administrators who want to uh, run this across loads of different computers and it saves them having to run around to each computer and do these settings on every single computer because you will have to do this on every single computer to make it work correctly once you've done this obviously the uh, devices like NAS drives and stuff will be visible on the uh, computer so we're going to let that run through and also you may see here if we go to network here at the moment um, when you click on this you'll get an error message popping up and that's because it's not been enabled but with this uh, script running it will enable uh, that feature you can see here it's not running this is what you're going to get but once that's fixed with this script you will then see the script will enable that feature it's doing it right now so just let that run it does take a while so let me speed this part of the video up so you don't get bored sitting here waiting for it to finish okay that's nearly finished now it's probably going to do a few more and then restart the computer and there we go so i'm going to say yes wifey yes now that will start to restart the system because we've added a new feature i.e smb and that will need to be added to the computer so where do you get all of these uh, codes from well you can get them from microsoft websites they're freely available and basically it just allows you to enable certain features whether it'll be in the command prompt 
or whether it'll be in PowerShell. All you need to do is get the right codes for the right type of job that you're trying to do and then put them all together into some sort of batch file or script or whatever it is you want to use and then basically that will enable those features for you free of charge. So let's go ahead and take a look at the settings here that have been changed. So network and internet, we can check out the settings here. You can see they've all been changed to turn on uh, network discovery and turn on file and printer sharing. Very simple and there is commands that will do that singly inside PowerShell as well. If we look at the ethernet here, you'll see that that's been set to private and that's done with a command as well and it's just been put into a script and of course services we can check the services here and uh, what we're going to do here we can come down and check the main services that need to be running and you can see these services are indeed running they've been checked and turned on and they've been set to the correct uh, startup type uh, and that's easy enough to do and you can see here we've got them both done if we come down here and make sure all the other settings are done like print spooler uh, print spooler is now running and of course we've got a bunch of other ones here as well which is like ssdp that's now turned on and running and this is uh, ideal for the uh, network discovery of devices and stuff like that you need to have this all running server should be running and they're all done as well workstation is running as well so they're done so let's just check our last one go to control panel here open up control panel and then go into programs and then programs and features and then turn windows features on or off and we should now see that this has been enabled which is our smb 1.0 and you can see they've all been enabled as well which is very nice indeed so basically that's going to be about it if we go to our network tab here you should now start seeing uh, the computers appearing and other devices appearing on the local network and that's about it as long as they're turned on the devices will appear so anyway that's going to be about it for this video i hope this one's been useful to you now if you work in uh, it administration or something like that and you need to do this on a regular basis then obviously going around to each machine is time consuming whereas automation or something like this makes it a lot more easier with a script to run uh, the script and do it all for you now of course this is the ideal way of doing it you will need to obviously create your script and you can do those by getting all the uh, codes from uh, Microsoft's websites they freely available on there they've got plenty of documents on there to show you how to enable features and disable features and make changes to those features anyway hope this one's been useful my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I shall see you again for another video tomorrow thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos Thank you.